so shoots over. I feel really great actually. Uh, we, we got through everything we needed to get through. Uh, we didn't get every shot we planned because of the rain, but it looked really good. There were moments where you can't help but just kind of sit back and be entertained. Yeah, that was perfect. Great. That was great. It was such a nice feeling to sit back and say, that worked out exactly how I wanted it to work out. So if you'd like to learn more about our project, just click the link in the description below. And without further ado, here you are. What a difference in service of Moss Regional. The facility, it runs like a clock. No more waiting forever to be seen by a doctor. And the doctors and nurses, they communicate with each other and they work as a team. Thank you for making our community a healthier place to live. They have changes at Moss Regional. The hospital you've known as Moss Regional since 1958 changes management. One facility at risk of closing, Moss Memorial. Moss Regional risked closing entirely and shutting down. Moss Memorial potentially on the chopping block. Good morning. Welcome back to our program, Outrage. Opulent hotel suites, luxury spa packages, deep sea fishing expeditions. These were just a few of the items purchased as part of a seemingly endless shopping spree carried out by the now disgraced psychologist, Dr. Andrew Dirk. During his three years as the head of medicine for the prestigious Moss Clinics, Dirk allegedly overbilled clients, stole patients' credit cards during so-called sleep therapy sessions, and is said to have been financing a massive ivory smuggling operation that bought the bulk of its supply from ISIS. Dreadful. On the phone with us is Danielle Moss. She's the CEO of the Moss Clinics and daughter of renowned therapist, Walter Moss. Danielle, thanks for joining us. Happy to be here. The country definitely has some questions. Specifically, how such dubious activity could occur without you noticing? Your response. We value privacy at the Moss Clinics, which includes our staff. Our company is built on honesty and trust. You bring up trust. Well, how can patients trust you if this sort of thing is allowed to take place? We didn't allow anything, all right? We've become stronger from this experience, and we're delighted that our patients support us and are ready to move on with their lives. Furthermore, we've already vetted a list of highly qualified candidates, and I can guarantee that whomever we choose will bring a unique vision and unquestionable moral fiber to the Moss Clinics. Good morning, Billy. Good morning, Dr. Bell. Don't drop that. Why? Because toxic gas will melt the skin off your face. <laughs> Quite the gamble, Doc. Where did you get this straight jacket? Amazon. <laughs> you didn't even try to tie the sleeves up, did you? I need help, Doc. Well, why don't you ask your buddy Tim to help you? Oh, no, we're not speaking. Mm, yeah, I know. He's a little upset that you're leaving, you know? Why don't you talk to him? In fact, why don't you make your last day here at the facility completely free of taint? Paging, Dr. Bell. Your ex-wife's lover's online, too. Hey, I'm at that low-rent clinic on the other side of town. But I need you to get a hold of as many news outlets as possible and leak that our new head of medicine will be making a statement outside Moss Clinic in an hour. I'm sure he'll accept. I just have to make it worth his while. Hey, buddy. Dear God, you are incredibly attractive. Beat it, honeypot. Go sell your snake oil somewhere else. I don't have time for this. 
Do you know where I can find a Dr. Christopher Bell? This way or whatever. You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm busy. May we speak privately? Not as long as the NSA exists. Please. Excuse me, guys. The nurse said that I could use the arts and crafts room first. You guys need to sign in on the... You upset it's my last day? Nope. Yes. You think I'm abandoning you, and now you refuse to speak to me. I'm speaking to you right now. You are being so childish. Oh, really? Well, would a child do this? So I was supposed to use the room first. If I could just get... Perhaps you could help. I'm looking for Dr. Bell. And who are you? I'm Danielle Moss. Danielle Moss? Oh. I'm Dr. Bell. Oh. Well, uh, I'm short on time, doctor, so I'll cut to the chase. How would you like to come aboard as the head of medicine for the Moss Clinics? We're hoping a fresh mind like yours could help us move past some of this unpleasantness. Did I mention the salary? I can't be bought, Dr. Moss. You see, I'm a man of principle. Let's take a walk. Excuse me. I'm so sorry you had to come all the way down here just to be disappointed, Dr. Moss. I'm actually not a doctor. Oh, weird. Well, I am, as you already know, and when you become a doctor, you take this little thing I like to call the Hippocratic Oath. Everyone calls it that. Oh, fantastic. Then you know my main priority is to help others and not myself. Could someone help me, please? Imagine all the good you can achieve with a position like this. Leading medical research, redefining psychology as we know it. You could change more lives in a single day than most therapists do in their entire lifetime. On one condition. Are we? Don't worry about it. And why are you wearing that coat? Look, I need you to go with me on this one, okay? Trust me. I never trusted anyone in my life, not even my mother. Are those reporters? Danielle, over here. Danielle. Miss Moss. Miss Moss, over here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce. Uh, may I? Be my guest. Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Bell, and I am happy to announce that I've accepted the position as head of medicine for the Ross Clinics. Ross Clinics? I'd like to just say that to all these fine people here and all the fine people watching at home, that you've got you've to gotta take a good, long, hard look in the mirror. And you have to ask yourself, who am I really in here? Stop lying to yourself, because I know who I am. I'm Dr. Bell, head of medicine. It takes real maturity to heal. In America, I'm here to heal with you. I'd like to end by saying that I have no plans of going anywhere anytime soon and my schedule is completely open. Thank you. Where is he going? There's really no way of knowing. That's gotta be one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Imagine how much better it would be if he was an actual doctor. Sandwich. Excuse me, Dr. Bell. A patient is eating their foot again. Excuse me, Dr. 
Dr. Bell, a Mr. Gimp is online too? Dark in here. Anybody? Scared. Someone please. <laughs>